Crafting Around. Hi, I'm Kelly Brandner and I am your host today. What we're going to be doing is our craft is going to be doing some Christmas hoop crafting, embroidery hoops we're going to use. Um, they come in different sizes, again surprise me because I don't embroider much anymore. Um, you can get them in this or Beauty gave me a few old ones like this that used to be, um, these are metal. These are really cool. I'm going to be using these for a Christmas project as well, just not for this project right now. So, got a few things together. We'll show you what we're going to be doing here. When you start crafting, very important, don't forget the coffee. Okay, these are the ones that I have made. I had a bigger hoop at home and I have in here um, some lace material. So I used the lace material Went and just showing you some easy stuff to do. Um, went and got some just twigs laying on the ground. Took some twigs, hot glued them first, found out how big of a piece I needed like this. Hot glued the twigs to the back of this and then put a, I had a branch like this that I had purchased somewhere in Bismarck. Took that and I just wanted something with a little bit of color. So I put this red cherry or this red um, little uh, red ball that looks like it has ice on it. So made one of these. Then I was intrigued by the middle size ones. So material again and I took and I actually what I did here is I painted these and I used this for something different but I thought why not use it for here. What I did was I put gold, I painted it in gold first, then I let it dry real good and then I took gray and I put it over the top. And then once everything had dried really, really good, I took sandpaper and I lightly sanded it. And that has the little bit of gold coming through with the gray. It looks like it's been old and used and abused, but it hasn't, it is really, it's brand new. So then I found some other um, stuff that I like. I'm kind of into antiques, different things like that. So I got this here, kind of primitive looking material. And again, have this at home, Christmas tree that's in the corrugated metal. And this here is actually a button. I just took the back off and then I hot glued it on. So a button is what was used for the top there. Now, again, different sizes, didn't know there was, so now we're up to our third size, which is a smaller one. Um, I had purchased this at the dollar store, I believe. It says, Joy, Love, Peace, um, Happy Christmas. So what I did was I just painted it in the blues because I do like blues. I had, a, again, this at home, so I took the lace material, put it in the back, put this on here, worked out great. Here's another one. I found, of course, the blue, um, kind of raggedy looking stuff. And I had the um, three H's and three O's. And actually these are wood. So what I did with those is I painted them, let them dry real good, sanded them, and I didn't like the way they looked. So I repainted them again. Put them in here, and here's a ho, ho, ho. My last piece, I wanted something simple, very, very simple, nothing to this way or to that way, but I am so in love with this material. These words I found, again, found them on sale. I think I paid a dollar for three of them, peace, joy, love, um, for Christmas theme. So I just painted this in the cream, as you can see. Again, I distressed it, didn't really like it, so I repainted it for it to stick out. But again, in love with this kind of vintage -y looking material. I'm going to show you how easy it is. We're going to attempt to make a Santa Claus looking one because we want to put it with the ho ho ho. So we're going to go with the small, small hoop, take it apart. I do have a red primitive color looking material. And then my daughter recovered a chair and I actually have this thick material. Um, it's, it's more like a I don't it, but in an upholstery kind of material. She gave it to me and I'm going to use it for the belt. And I just so happened, and I'm not even sure why I have this in my house, but I had one of these when I went to go snooping. So we're gonna use this as the belt. Okay, so this is what we do to begin. Um, I went downstairs, I looked to see the things that I have. I have tons and tons of things downstairs for Christmas. 
a lot of times I wait for things to go on sale. That's the only way to get most of it. This year I know I paid less, it was $3.99, and I believe I paid a dollar for all three of these Christmas tags. I mean, just stuff that you can use, you can find to use them anywhere. Watch for that kind of stuff to go on sale. I've got this Joy Love Peace Happy Christmas that I painted and put on here. These I got really cheap as well. Watch for your sales, use your coupons, lady. That's the only way to craft. Just different, different things that I find. Here's a bunch of different things as well. Um, shop online too. The corrugated that I used here, the corrugated Christmas trees. And then of course, here's the snowflakes that I like. Just the plain rusty looking snowflake. Those we're gonna use later for a Christmas tree. So, sky's the limit on what you can use and, and where to go find it. And Factory Direct is another place that I go. Valley is now offering updated digital TV packages and prices. Ask us about the brand new Choice TV package. Call Valley today at 437-2615. So what I'm going to do is how I did these, and you'll probably laugh at me, the people who use, who actually use um, fabric, you're going to laugh at me on how I do this. And the people, of course, who do the embroidery, you're going to say, my gosh, lady, there is a different way to do this. This is how I do it. And yes, I do keep my scraps because reuse, reuse, reuse. So... I'm just going to cut some out and then I lay all my stuff out before I actually do anything with it. I'm going to cut a nice share of it and we will trim it once we have everything done. I should have probably done this project and done an easier one than this. Because, you know, of course, I haven't done this. So how will it turn out? We just never know. I always find it hard to see on some of this. And some of it, it doesn't matter if it's front, back, or in between. But I believe this is what my piece of it is going to look. I'm going to take the hoop. I'm going to crank it open pretty good so we can throw it over the top. And then this is how I decide. I close it pretty good. And then I stay, start making my markings and stuff on it of how I want to do things and tighten it up pretty good so that you don't have a lot of bouncing around. I like to be able to drop a nail on there or poke it like this. And you can hear it's tight. Okay, we'll put this to the side in case the project doesn't turn out and we have to start all over again. And trust me, I have probably done more restarts than anybody I know. Because either I think I know what I'm doing and it turns out I don't. It's a very good one. That's me. Or I do it and I seriously don't like it. So I'm going to I'm going to see here how much of a piece I need. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to take this and instead of pulling it out and putting the fabric inside here, this is very, very heavy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hot glue it to the back of this thing right here. Or not to the back of it, but to the front of it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hot glue it. So I'm gonna kind of decide. I wanna be able to have the material sticking up here in here, I mean, I, I want to be able to just have it come through and make it look like a true belt. So what I'm going to do is, it looks like I'm going to maybe make it about this thick because this is the image that I'm really trying to get from it. So I don't want it to be too, too thick or too, too wide, I guess is the word I'm looking for. So I am going to mark it back here, and then we're going to cut it. 
Actually, like I said, it amazes me sometimes where I find stuff that I have. And then my next question is, why did I have it? I must have bought it for a reason, I would think anyway. There we go. Don't poke through and go on to the table. You want to be more careful than that. I'm going to take something here and go across so that I do it even because I, I want it to look as even as possible. Voila. Let's see if I can make a decent mark with the pencil here. How far down is that? My husband always tells me you have to Mark twice, cut once. I am usually not good at that. I eyeball. My philosophy is eyeball twice, cut once. Blazing fast broadband internet from Valley is now available and better than ever. Let us help you decide which speed is best for you. The 50 meg speed would be sufficient for one to four devices mainly emailing and surfing the web. Our 100 meg speed works great for five to eight devices and multiple users streaming and downloading video. If you have eight devices or more that are simultaneously streaming or gaming, or if you have a medium sized business, the 250 meg speed would work best for you. For extreme heavy home or work from home use, or if you have a medium to large business using 15 or more devices, you may want to consider our 500 meg download speed to fit your needs. And if you're a home or business that needs it all, we have our 1000 meg, 1 gig broadband internet speed. Call our office today at 437-2615 and talk with one of our staff members to pick the speed that's best for you. Okay, so we've got the material cut out and we are going to use this rough piece right here and we are going to take it and I'm going to make it look like it is a belt. Okay, so I'm going to take some hot glue. I'm going to hot glue the sides here. I'm going to do one at a time. I want to hold it from the back so that we get it in there tight so that we get it fitting where we want it to fit in Let's see right there so now what i do is i just hold it and press it in real good and you can hold the back too because we're not ready to make it tight yet once we get it tight and we get the material cut then it's a done deal okay so that is in there really tight now i'm going to do the other end Okay, so this is really a heavy duty, heavy duty because it was used for um, repolstering the chair, so it's nice and heavy duty stuff. In fact, I didn't think I was ever going to need it, but it's coming in handy. You never know. Got to tuck those gems away. Okay, and I made sure before I put that on that this was nice and snug, just like I want it. So one more thing and then we are done already. Hot flashes. Faster than fast internet is here. Valley now has higher broadband speeds of up to one gigabit. Get the bandwidth you need for all your devices at one time. Gaming with no lag time. Video stream your favorite movies instantly in HD quality. Video chat with friends and family without interruption. Download your favorite music and photos in seconds. All on our 100% fiber optics network. Valley offers managed Wi-Fi and backup services too. Bringing together all the services you need. Valley Telecommunications Cooperative. Okay, here's the deal that we're going to use. I am going to attempt to put it in the middle. And again, I'm going to use hot glue. And I'm going to just put some on here. We're going to have a little bit of hot glue that is going to, going to come out on the sides a little bit. But once it dries, you won't see it. 
Like I've said before, Hoplo and I have a love-hate relationship, and I think that's the way it's supposed to be, to have as a love-hate relationship. Like I said, fingerprints. I've lost a mini a fingerprint already to hot glue. We've got just a little bit of time to actually work with it before it sets up and sets up for pretty much so for good. But again, like I said before, how to take it off, just take a hot hair, just take a hot blow dryer, blow on the area for a while. And it'll come right off. Actually, I hate to give credit where credit is due, but my husband told me that. Because I really wasn't liking where I had put something. Sometimes when you take the hot glue off, you'll also notice that what you took off was the thing that was holding it on to begin with. This might be a little bit too heavy for the project, but let me try it again here. Let me do something just a little bit different. I think I'll put it on a little heavier here and I'll maybe put it on all four sides if I can stand the pain. Come on. one side here too. Let's give it a whirl again here. I'm going to hold it down. I'm going to let it ooze out. We can clean it up later on, but we'll let it ooze out and I don't know of a better idea. I guess you could make it out of paper, but then that wouldn't give the true effect, I don't think. Okay, we're gonna tighten this up. Now, if you want, you can let some hang out from the side if you'd like. I just take a really, I take a smaller scissor, good sharp scissor, and go around. And it's easier to do it after than it is before. And if you don't wanna to take too much off, there again, you can let the sides kind of hang out. I cut mine very close to the, to the side because I know I have it really tight. I have this anchored pretty tight. I shouldn't, it, it shouldn't lose its, the grip of it. So here you have it. We have our Santa Claus. And we can put this either way that we care to in the window. We have a ho, 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 and we have a Santa Claus suit. Tune in next time for another Just Crafting Around.